Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. A retired master sergeant who now calls Wichita home signed up to serve because he wanted to do his part. Gwen Bevel and photojournalist Nick Kiefer have his story. Retired Army Master Sergeant Jim Densmore says it was easy for him to get in that uniform and do the job. He says it was most difficult for his wife and children with him being gone so much and that he was. He went to Vietnam three times. You haven't lived until you run into an ambush and, and you got 10 to 12 guys come in. Sergeant Densmore, Sergeant Densmore, help. And retired Master Sergeant Jim Densmore has lived. He volunteered to deploy to Vietnam. The 27th Infantry Regiment. Better known as the Wolfhounds, Densmore was a helicopter machine gunner. We flew uh, supplies and things like that to these out camps of the Special Forces. Uh, we carried Vietnamese troops to, into battle and out of battle. Uh, you were subject to uh, enemy fire going in and coming out. In just 90 days, Densmore would go on to receive five air medals and a bronze star. And it was really a surprise when the, the general came down and handed them to us. His time in the jungle of Vietnam was far from over. Densmore would deploy once again, this time as a squad leader. We went into this area and we had to set up a base camp and we cleared the area around the area of mines, booby traps, and the, the VC. It was only their second battle or firefight. We lost five non commissioned officers and uh, about 20 enlisted men. So it's, it was hard because you knew the people. He also saw so many others who were wounded. When a person gets wounded, they go back to the rear and you never hear anything from them. And I always wonder, well, sometimes I wake up at night and I say, well, I wonder what happened to this guy. After many gruesome battles. The hair on your head stands up, and, and, but uh, it was quite a challenge. Out of his entire platoon. Only two of us come back without any wounds or scratches or anything. Dinsmore says the journey to get home was not easy. You had to take uh, your replacement with you on one operation before you could rotate back. I went through three people before I could come back. When he went to Vietnam a third time, the assignment had changed, but the hostility had not. You'd go into an area, and all of a sudden you'd hit mines or booby traps, and then somebody lay down fire. By the time you counterattacked, there's nobody there. They're gone. Dinsmore says that's because there were tunnels everywhere. Some of them were two and three layers in the ground. Wolf hospitals and stuff like that were underground. He would again survive warfare and remembers what it was like the closer he got to seeing his family once again. That's when you really start thinking, man, I don't want to step on a mine. I don't want to get shot. I don't want to do this. But you still do it because you got to do it. That's the regimental unit. And wearing the Army uniform with pride is something Dinsmore did for more than two decades. Dinsmore was also recognized after Vietnam in his role as an Army recruiter. He says he always helped soldiers find jobs in the military they could use down the road to make a living. Here for you, Gwen Bevel, KSN News. Tonight, we salute Jim Dinsmore for his service in the U.S. Army. The Devon James Injury Lawyer is here with Master Sergeant James Dinsmore, who served our country during three tours in Vietnam. On behalf of all of Kansas, thank you for your service. Thank you very much. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.